This is SIU, Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. Hi, my name is Crystal Harris. I work in the Graduate School. I'm going to do a presentation today on graduate funding and what we have available within the Graduate School. Hopefully this will give you some information and, and help you along the way. Where to look for graduate funding? You can go to our Grad School website. We have a assistantship, assistantship job listing website that shows all administrative jobs that are available on campus. You can look there. You can also, on our website, there is a link for fellowship information and for scholarship information. I will be going over the fellowships that we offer and the scholarships that we offer. It's a lot of information, so at any time, um, feel free to go back to the website to reference the information that I give through the presentation. The first thing that we will talk about is our fellowships, and there are five that we offer within the graduate school. We offer the Master's Fellowship, the Doctoral Fellowship, the Morris Fellowship, the Dissertation Research Assistantship Award, the Graduate Dean's Fellowship, and the Prompt Assistantship. Each of those have different criteria, so I will touch on a few things. That is why we provided the links so you can go back and look at the criteria, see if you meet the information needed and would like to apply to these. The first that we'll talk about is the Master's Fellowship. The fellowship will be awarded for three semesters, fall, spring, and summer, equaling 11 months. The Master's Fellowship pays a monthly stipend and provides a full tuition scholarship for fall and spring and then up to nine hours in the summer. Fellowships as recipients will be assigned a 10-hour work assignment. The chair will determine the assignment that you will do, but 10 hours is all that is required for this fellowship. You may not accept any employment either inside or outside of the university if you are awarded one of these fellowships. Recipients are also required to register for a minimum of nine graduate hours in the fall and spring and three graduate hours in the summer. There is eligibility that will, this is the minimum qualifications to apply. You need an overall undergraduate GPA of 3.4 or a grade point average undergrad for the last two years of a 3.5 or a 75 percentile on a standardized test. If you meet those minimum requirements, you can apply for this fellowship and these are done across campus. So you will go into, um, everybody that is able to apply, you will go into the pool with them. A panel will then select the people that we will award these to. The criteria for that is you will um, have an assessment by the department You'll have your under your grade point averages, your letters of recommendation, a personal statement, and a standardized test. Standardized tests are required for the fellowships. If you are in a program that does not require a standardized test for admission, but you think you would be interested in a fellowship, please go ahead and schedule your testing for the standardized test because you do have to have that before you can apply for any of our fellowships. And for more information, Again, visit our website and you can go over all of this that I'm going to talk about. The next is the Doctoral Fellowship. The Doctoral Fellowship is an 11-month appointment, fall, spring, and summer. You will get a monthly stipend and a full tuition waiver in the fall and spring and a tuition waiver up to nine hours in the summer. You will have a 10-hour work assignment for this as well that your chair will uh, assign to you once you're awarded. This one you are not allowed to accept uh, any employment while on the fellowship and you are also required to register for nine graduate hours in the fall and spring and three hours in the summer. The eligibility for this is a little different than the master's. You have to have an overall undergraduate GPA of 3.0 or the last two years undergrad of 3.5 and an overall grad GPA of 3.7 or a 75 percentile in one of the standardized tests. At least one of the standardized tests is required for this fellowship. 
the criteria, you will have a department nomination, you will have letters of recommendation, you will have your personal statement, your standardized test, and with the fellowships that I'm talking about, all of them will require transcripts. This, you have to have transcripts for all schools attended, whether you graduate or not, they have to be included as to make the packet a complete packet. The next is the Morris Fellowship. This is for U.S. citizens, permanent residents only. The Morris Doctoral is a five-year financial package. It is a 12-month award and is a 50% graduate assistantship for the last two years. So the first three years you will be on a fellowship. The last two years you will be on an assistantship through the department that has nominated you. You have a monthly stipend with this. You will get a full tuition waiver for the fall and spring, nine hours in the summer. You will have a 10 hour work assignment with this one just like you did with the others. You may not accept employment inside or outside of the university and you must register for nine graduate hours in the fall and spring and three in the summer. The difference with the Morris, aside from any of the other fellowships, this will give you a thousand dollar book slash travel allowance that you can use per semester for the first three years while you're funded on the fellowship through the graduate school. The eligibility for this is an overall undergrad of 325 or a grade point for the last two years of the 3.5, and if you've had any prior grad work, an average of 3.7 and a 75 percentile in a standardized test. You have to be brand new to a doctoral program. You cannot have taken any doctoral work before if you want to apply to, at SIUC, if you want to apply for the Morris Fellowship. The criteria, you will, um, have a nomination by your department. You will have a personal statement, letters of recommendation, the application, and your transcripts. The next is a dissertation research assistantship award. The dissertation, or as we call it, the DRA, that is an academic award designed for students who are in their dissertation and are pre preparing for graduation. If you are applying for this, you need to be in your dissertation stage and that will be what you do during the duration of the award. You have a service requirement that your duties will be assigned by your chairperson. They, the duties that are assigned to this DRA though will be linked to your dissertation. So it will be your own research that you'll be working on during this. You must be enrolled for at least six graduate hours during the term of the award and three dissertation during the summer. The eligibility for this dissertation research award is an overall grad point, grade point average of 325, and you have to have already prepared your proposal with tentative or final approval. The students are also, are able to be nominated before they advance to candidacy, However, if you do receive the DRA and you do not advance by the beginning of the award, that will make you ineligible. So please look at this criteria closely and if you are in the planning stage and you will have advanced to candidacy before the award, by all means go ahead and apply. You cannot have more than four calendar years of doctoral support including uh, any grad work. So if you have already had more than four years or close to it and are thinking about applying to the DRA, you might want to look at the funding eligibility before doing so. During all, all of these that I'm speaking of, you can again look on our website or talk to your department or you can contact anyone in my office and we'll be able to go over this criteria with you. The eligibility, um, you are limited to two years of support in any combination so that if you've already had a doctoral fellowship or something like that, that will um, make you ineligible. You cannot hold any other employment while on this also. The criteria, we, the graduate school will determine every year the, the number of awards that will be given out per college. Then the college will from there nominate you based on who they have applied. 
The next is the Graduate Dean's Fellowship. The Graduate Dean's Fellowship is a two-year award for new and continuing students who have been admitted into either a master's or doctoral program. You must be enrolled for nine graduate hours during the fall and spring and three hours during the summer. You will have a 10-hour work assignment just like the other fellowships that will be assigned by the department in which you receive this award. In year two, you will have a 20-hour week assistantship for fall and spring that is either teaching or research. So the first year is a fellowship, year two is an assistantship. So first year you will have a 10-hour work component, second year you'll have a 20-hour which is a teaching or research. The eligibility for this, you must be a new or continuing student who has been admitted to a master's or doctoral program. You have an earned degree from an accredited institution. You have a minimum grade point average of 3.0 on approximately the last 60 hours of your undergrad work or at least 45 if you've not graduated. And when appropriate, a graduate GPA of 3.5. You must be a member of a traditionally underserved group and a citizen or permanent resident of the United States. Criteria, you will have a nomination by the department. You will have your application. You will have your letters of recommendation. You will have your personal statements. You will have your standardized test and transcripts. The next is the prompt assistantship. This is for U.S. citizens and permanent residents only. The prompt, as we call it, is the proactive recruitment of multicultural professionals for tomorrow. This was developed by the graduate school to increase the number of individuals who were receiving advanced degrees in the United States from families which traditionally did not have access to opportunities or had cultural experiences or unique situations that, that kept them from furthering their education. Um, recipients will receive a nine-month assistantship for fall and spring for up to a maximum of two years. The monthly stipends will be that of the current rate that is included. Um, you will also get a tuition waiver for fall, spring, and summer. It's a two, the prompt is a two-year half-time assistantship for new students who have been admitted either to a master's or doctoral program. You will be required to commit 20 hours per week on this um, appointment it will be and it will be teaching or research so unlike the other fellowships this is more of an assistantship you'll have a 20 hour per week work requirement and it can be teaching or research and that'll be assigned by your academic department the eligibility for the prompt you must be a new incoming student who has been admitted to a master's or doctoral program you have an earned degree from an accredited institution. You have a minimum GPA um, of 3.0 in the master's at 3.25 if you have doctoral uh, graduate study. You are a member of a traditionally underserved group and you are a U.S. citizen or permanent resident. The criteria, like the others, you will have a nomination by your department. You will have an application. You'll have a standardized test You'll have letters of recommendations. You'll have transcripts. The departments um, will work with you on the prompt. This is one that you will want to talk to your department about. If you look at this and you meet the minimum criteria, please talk to your department and ask them about the opportunity to apply for this. Next, we will talk about our scholarships. First, we have the tuition waiver scholarship. This is for US citizens and permanent residents only. This is designed by the Board of Trustees to assist students to, that have high academic achievement. The scholarship is a scholastic award and it will depend on your GPA for the program that you were last in. The award is for remission of tuition only. You, the students will be responsible for fees. The award provides a full scholarship tuition waiver for up to nine hours in the summer. Um, but a full tuition waiver for fall and spring. The eligibility for the tuition waiver scholarship, the student may not hold another university appointment. You must also have a minimum graduate GPA of 3.0 and the tuition waiver scholarship 
Again, you must enroll in nine hours fall and spring, three grad hours during the summer. And if you are new into the master's, your GPA will be calculated on your undergrad GPA. So master students can apply, doctoral students can apply. It'll just be based on your last degree. So again, master students will be based on undergrad in the first year. After the first year, it'll be based on your master's, such for doctoral. Next, we have the Graduate Scholarship Program, and as we call this, the GSP. The GSP award is for an academic year in which the student is admitted. However, you must apply for this each semester. So you can receive this for three semesters, but if you apply for this, say, in the fall, you must reapply in the spring and summer, but you don't have to go through a competition. Your department will sign off on it, and you will automatically receive this award. This is a one-third tuition waiver, not a full tuition waiver. It's one-third of the credit hours that you enroll in for fall, spring, and summer. So as you'll see, nine through 11 hours, you will receive a three-hour scholarship. If you take 12 to 14 credit hours, you'll receive a four-hour, and so on. For the summer, the student must register for six graduate credit hours, and we will waive three. The eligibility, you have to be admitted into your first semester of a graduate program to be eligible, and you must also enroll for a minimum of nine credit for fall and spring and six for summer. This is who you can contact in the office, and Dion is the contract specialist, Amy is the grad student, Megan, and Anoop. At any time, if you want to look at our website, go over the information, contact our office, feel free to do so. We will be more than happy to help you. Again, reach out to your academic department, inquire with them. Each of these have dates and deadlines. The dates and deadlines are hard and fast deadlines. So, for example, for our fellowships, they're all due to the graduate school in mid-January. So if this is something that you would like to apply for, you need to reach out to your department by November, December, because they will probably have earlier dates for you to submit the application. The scholarships, they all have uh, deadlines. They are all listed on the form. So the tuition waiver has deadlines. The GSP graduate scholarship has deadlines as well. So again, welcome. And these are the opportunities that the grad school has. But aside from that, the one thing I did not speak about was the graduate assistantships. Those are across campus. You can find that information in your department. Earlier in the, in the slide, I did talk about the administrative. Those are on a website. You can go to that link, take a look at the administrative postings. And that is the funding that we offer here at SIU.